Hello students, good morning. Through this lecture, we will be going through the contents and boundaries of nuclear. I will be expl explaining some tricks and mnemonics to study the count contents and boundaries of nuclear in this lesson. I know that we all are facing some difficulty in studying the boundaries of nuclear. Always during examinations, the it got shuffled between the boundaries, which is that anterior one, which is the posterior one. But through this lesson, by the tricks and mnemonics given by me, you can make it easy to memorize. First of all, coming to the coming to the lesson, you, first of all, where is the middle ear located? The middle ear is located in between the outer ear and the inner ear. The part is middle ear. And uh, mainly in this lecture, we will be going through the boundaries, the mnemonics used for memorizing the boundaries of the middle ear. First of all, uh, let's read the boundaries of the middle ear. And uh, we know that there is a roof, floor, lateral wall, medial wall, anterior wall, and a posterior wall. These many contents are many borders are given below. It's so hard to memorize for me. I don't know what about you, but we will make it simple in this lesson. First of all, let me come to the main thing, main lesson. And uh, for memorizing, you should bring a home to your mind. You can bring your own home to your mind. Let's think. You should think a 3D picture of your my, uh, home in your mind, and uh, coming, uh, you should um, uh, think that every borders of your your home is the borders of the middle ear, and uh, think that you are standing inside your home. You should think like that, or you can just imagine the borders of your home is the borders of your middle ear, and through this, uh, by using some mnemonics, we can make it easy. First of all, coming to the roof, roof of the middle ear. I am having a picture about the roof of a home. Usually, we use another term for roof that is terrace. From the terrace, we take the letter T and silencing the other letters. By using the T, we can remember that the roof that is T that is made up of roof is made up of tegment timpani. And by silencing the other letters other than T from the terrace, we get the word tegment tympani and we uh, now we get the roof is made up of tegment tympani actually tegment tympani means it's a projection from the coda tympani uh, from the coda uh, petrous part of the temporal bone uh, sorry uh, the tegment tympani means it is a like a plate like thing which is a uh, projection from the petrous part of the temporal bone and uh, about the floor i had given a photograph of the floor of the home Usually, we use a term for floor that's veranda. Okay, from the veranda, from the V, uh, from the verandas uh, V and E, and silencing the other letters, we can get V E. That V E starting with vein start with V, so we can get internal jugular vein. And here, actually, in the floor, there's a bulb of internal jugular vein is passing. Okay. Then we can get that one of the border of the middle ear, that's a floor, that is internal jugular vein. Okay, then coming to the anterior wall. Usually we say the anterior part of our home, that is entrance. Okay, uh, through entrance we are getting into inside our home. And uh, by using E, T and A from entrance and silencing the other letters, from E we can get eustachian tube and from T we get tensor tympani. Tensor tympani is a muscle. And from A we get artery, artery one of only one artery is present that is internal carotid artery. And from the entrance we get mainly three borders of the three borders that mean three contents or uh, in the anterior border that is E4 station to T4 tensor tympani and therefore internal carotid artery. And the next one is posterior wall. Uh, it's quite some difficult to memorize, but you can. In the posterior part of my house, I am taking in case of my house. In the posterior part of my house, uh, through a toy, I had put a cap for drying. Okay, uh, just remember like that. Cap dry. And uh, from the each and every letters of this word, we can get the border, posterior border. From cap C, C means coda tympani, A means auditus, P means pyramid. And uh, let's silence the uh, letter D. And R means facial recess. I means fossa incidus. Okay, I think uh, it's gonna have some difficulty in studying this, but you can. Just remember a word, cap dry. 
okay i had tried i had put a cap in behind posterior part of my house for drying so you can use cap dry cap c stands for coda tympani a for auditus p for pyramid f for uh, sorry r for facial recess and i for fossa incidus okay in lateral part lateral mat uh, in the one side of your home in your one side of your home there's one tree you can in the picture also you can see a tree in the side of the house and um, let's consider that tree to be an alder tree and uh, alder tree sorry not alder it's an alder tree and uh, from the alder tree by using the a from alder and t from tree we can get the boundary a stands for attic wall and t stands for tympanic membrane and coming to the medial wall medial wall um, the medial wall means you can consider there is a separation between the rooms of your home inside your home you can see one in one image that uh, one computer in one image and in another image uh, two rooms are separated through some windows and uh, in medial part in medial part one you can see another photograph in medial part of the home one boy is playing laptop uh, games in his laptop or you can consider it as pcs okay and uh, in the medial part you can see some windows and uh, actually i think if you have some small knowledge about the ear we are uh, hearing about two window that is oval window and round window and in the medial part oval window and round window and also in medial part some pieces are there and from the pieces p stands for promontory okay thank you thank you very much and uh, sorry again we can go through the topic and uh, let's clarify it uh, <coughs> borders there are mainly six borders that is roof floor lateral wall medial wall anterior wall and the posterior wall roof here it is tegment tympani and uh, we know that the tegment tympani it is the uh, part of the petrous part of the temporal bone and uh, our roof uh, roof stands for terrace and from the terrace t we got tegment tympani and the floor that means we use another word uh, veranda from the veranda we get internal jugular vein v verandas ve we use ve and other other letters are being silenced from the ve we get internal jugular vein and uh, lateral wall i got um, one when uh, all the trees uh, in side of your home and uh, from the alder tree taking a for a that is attic wall and from the tree t we get tympanic membrane and the medial wall you can remember that there is a separation between rooms by a window and also some pieces are there some computers i mean pieces means computers and from the windows we get oval window and the round window and the pcs pcs means p stands for promontory and the anterior wall anterior means we get a um, entrance we use same uh, another word, alternate word in case of a home entrance e and silencing uh, other letters other than e t and a we get e stands for eustachian tube t stands for tensor tympani and a stands for internal carotid artery and finally the posterior wall posterior wall in the posterior part of my home i had Oh, I had put a wet cap for drying, so cap dry. Sees the caps. C C uh, stands for coda tympani nerve, and A for auditus and P for pyramid. And uh, D R I in the D R I we silence the D and uh, the another one R R stands for facial recess and I stands for for signs. It is thank you. Thank you, students. Uh, today's lecture is being finished and. Uh, We'll be going through uh, the other parts of the ear in the next lesson.